Okay, so I have a love-hate relationship with caffeine. I love coffee and I love the way it makes me feel, but if I drink it too excessively or for too many days in a row, I get kind of anxious, jittery, and it really doesn't, it kind of loses its fun and some of its effectiveness as well. So I'm gonna share what I do in order to counteract that to balance it a little bit in case anyone else is feeling like this as well. So what I do is I will drink coffee, maybe at full strength, you know, for a few days in a row. Uh, but then what I'll do is I'll switch to either half calf, which for like an, a latte would be one shot of regular espresso and one shot of decaf espresso. So that has a little above half the normal caffeine amount of a regular latte because decaf actually has 20% of the caffeine of regular coffee. It's not entirely decaffeinated. Um, but then, so if you had a decaf latte, it would only have 20%. A half calf is probably actually gonna have more like 60% of the caffeine of original latte. Um, but what I've found is that when I kind of alternate between full strength coffee and either decaf or half calf, then it kind of allows my body to clear that built up caffeine and the jitteriness goes away and I can get back to that good feeling, that euphoric feeling of that first cup of coffee and where you have those explosively productive days and you're just like feeling amazing. You can't really feel that way off of coffee unless you don't drink it all the time. If you drink it all the time, it just creates a dependency cycle and then the, the, each morning you're just drinking more to avoid that crash, but it doesn't really allow the drug that is caffeine to work its magic. One thing I learned about caffeine is it has a half-life of like six to eight hours. That means if you drink 150 milligrams at eight in the morning, then at 4 p.m., eight hours later, you will still have half of that in your system, uh, which would be uh, 75. So every eight hours, the amount of caffeine that you consumed halves, your body can produce or clear half of it. So that would mean by midnight, you still have 37.5 milligrams in your system. And by 8 a.m. the next morning, you still have half of that, which would be like uh, 16 or 17 milligrams. So if you still have some caffeine in your system that next day, a little bit, but then you drink more coffee right at 8 in the morning, uh, it builds on top of that. And so you're never fully clearing the caffeine from your system. And it's actually building and growing and storing itself in your tissues. And that is what leads to that jitteriness, that built up feeling and that like kind of where you almost feel like you're overdosing on caffeine. And uh, it's interesting, people have an enzyme in their liver that removes caffeine from your body. And that enzyme operates at varying levels of efficiency depending on your genetics. So some people can drink like a shot of espresso after dinner and just go to bed and sleep great. Other people like me cannot do that. I wouldn't sleep hardly at all. And that's because my the enzyme in my liver is not efficient at clearing caffeine for my body. So some of you are watching this like, dude, I can drink a cup every day and I don't have any problems. That's not really... Um, you know, if that's you, then this video might not be super valuable for you. But if you're someone who's more like me and can really feel the effects of caffeine, uh, try alternating your dosage size. Because really, caffeine is a drug. It's a psychoactive drug. Um, obviously, it's not going to make you hallucinate like other psychoactive drugs, uh, but it's strong. And, you know, just like any other doctor would prescribe you with a dosage size of a drug and that dosage size is right, is important to get right. Well, caffeine is no different. And uh, so you can dial in the size of your dose intentionally, if you think about it, and you can try to find the dose that fits you. Like honestly, for me, half calf and decaf re really is my ideal dosage size. Like if I wanted to drink coffee, in a sustained way, like really the full strength stuff I shouldn't be touching because a lot of times I'll buy one and I can't even finish it, I pour it out, it's crazy. Um, but I can't, I just, I'm so cracked out, like I can't take another sip. Um, and so, you know, what do you think your dosage size 
is. You know, what would be the ideal amount that you can drink steadily on a consistent basis? Or you can do like me and drink the full strength stuff because you want that full effect every now and then. Like if I'm going to edit a book for four hours, I'll go get a nitro cold brew knowing that it's going to crack me the fuck out. But I'm going to really be like on point when it comes to my work. And then I'm going to have to pay the price the next day. I might have to dial back and drink a half calf or some decaf or whatever. Um, you can do that or you can find something that you can drink consistently. But this is how I approach it. Uh, and it has helped me a lot. So I just wanted to share my perspective and a little bit that I've learned about caffeine in the hope that it might help you as well. If you like what you're finding on this channel, smash that subscribe button. That helps me tremendously. This is obviously still a small YouTube channel and I want to help more people. And the more you like, subscribe, comment on these videos, it just boosts the algorithm. So YouTube will show it to more people. And thank you for watching and I will see you soon.